Portland band The Slants has dance rocked its way into hearts and history. Sorry if I was too wrong. Simon Tam founded the band in 2006, an all Asian American cast of musicians as passionate about social activism and racial justice as they are performing. That ethos spilled into the band's very name, The Slants. The band reclaimed that word for their own use, an anti-racist power move to neutralize the slur some have used against Asian Americans. On the band's website, Tam described the double meaning of their name. As the slants, we could share our perspective or slant on life as Asian Pacific Islanders. We could also expose the misconception and for those of us who experience shame as a result for having the physical trait, we could turn it into a point of pride instead. The slants filed to trademark their band name, but the government denied them, citing a law banning disparaging trademarks. The slants took their case all the way to the Supreme Court. In 2017, the justices ruled unanimously in the band's favor. They noted the U.S. Trademark Office had violated the slants' First Amendment rights to free speech. For the band, the victory meant another chance to challenge stereotypes. At the end of the day, the Supreme Court has decided that viewpoint discrimination is not something to be that's acceptable and that through this process, marginalized communities need the right to determine what's right for themselves and not to have some random trademark attorney make those decisions for us. 18 years and eight records later, the slants are still rocking. In 2019, they retired from live tours to launch their nonprofit, the Slants Foundation. So we're going to focus on um, providing resources and mentoring to artists of color who want to incorporate activism into their work. The Slants, changing the world with music on their terms and living up to their name.